Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Create Forge Frontier Guide. Today, I'll be going over Create Resource Events. So without further ado, let's hop into the game. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, what is Create Resource Events? Well, Create Resource Events is a mod designed to overhaul the old Molten Vents mod. It allows you to easily swap any Molten Vent in your world into a Resource Vent, ensuring you won't have to go out and find a new vent. I'll have a short section at the end of the video showing how easy it is to change a Molten Vent to a Resource Vent. Now, a Resource Vent lets you infinitely generate resources like iron, gold, diamonds, and more, as long as you can supply an endless amount of its vent fluid. But hold up, I'm getting ahead of myself. Where do you even find one of these vents? Well, if you're playing Create Forge Frontier, just open the quest page under Create Progression. There, you'll see every vent available. The biome it spawns in, an in-depth guide on each vent, what its vent fluid is, and how to make that fluid. For example, let's look at the Glacium Vent, which produces diamonds. According to the quest book, Glacium Vents spawn in mountain biomes. Well, this isn't a mountain. Let me use the biome compass to find one. Two thousand blocks away? That's a bit of a ways away. I'll just meet you guys over there. Two hours later. Ah, here we are. And look, there's a Verdantine vent, which can give you emeralds, but we're after Glacium. Now if you're having trouble finding a vent, Forge Frontier includes Freecam, which makes spotting the vents much easier. All you have to do is go underground and look for the tall columns of vent fluid. Or you can use your map to pinpoint them. Just look for bright, colorful, brown things, and you'll find them. This blue circle, that's a glacium vent. Let's place a marker and head over. There she is, our glacium vent. But wait, it's dormant. How do we activate it? Now, you might remember blowing up molten vents with TNT to activate them. That won't work here. It doesn't generate enough energy. Instead, you'll need a superheated blaze burner. Place it on top of the vent, feed it a blaze cake, and it'll activate after a few seconds. You may be wondering, well, how do you move it? With carry-on, you can simply crouch and right-click to pick it up and place it anywhere you want. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting cold up here. I'm gonna take my vent and uh, go somewhere warmer. Oh my god, I didn't mean that warm! What a, no! Ah, <sighs> much better. Now that you understand the basics, let's talk infinite resources. For Glacium, you'll need an infinite supply of dark chocolate, which is its vent fluid. The quest book shows the exact recipe. First, you need to grow cocoa beans, and then press them, then crush them and get cocoa butter. Finally, mix that with the ingredients shown here, and voila, you've made dark chocolate. Now, you'll need to build some industry to automate this process, but there are tons of ways to set it up, so get creative. Once you've got your dark chocolate supply, start placing it next to the glacium vent, and it'll turn it into glacium blocks, which you can then mine, crush, and smelt to produce diamonds. But, of course, you won't want to mine by hand forever, so let's automate it. First, we'll talk fluid setup. You want to run a pipe so that the fluid places itself next to the vent, like you did with the bucket. It can be on the top, bottom, side, doesn't really matter. I'll use the top. Connect the pipe to the tank that has your dark chocolate in it. Add a pump and make sure it's set the right way. And then you're good. Just power the pump and it'll start taking it out of the tank and putting it next to the vent. And then you can mine it with a pickaxe. 
but there's a better way. Instead of mining with a pickaxe, we should use a mechanical drill. You can place it against the glacium, power it with your stress network, and maybe add a clutch so you can switch it on and off. Now, you may be saying, Dill, the items, they're going everywhere. Relax, I got you. An easy way to collect the glacium is by using sophisticated storage. A limited barrel combined with a magnet upgrade will automatically pull in all of that mined ore. Now, for a bigger setup, or one you want to just leave running permanently, upgrade the barrel to iron tier or higher and add a second upgrade, the void upgrade, so it never overflows. And there you go, an automated vent. And that's about it. In this video, we covered what resource vents are, how to find them, how to activate them, and how to automate them for infinite resources. If you're curious about how to convert your molten vents into resource vents, I'll go over that now. Okay, here I am in my world with molten vents. I found a scoria vent and a viridium vent. Okay, now I'm going to close my game. Go into the mods folder and remove molten vents. Then I'll just add in create resource vents and that's it. Just launch the game and once you load in, you'll see that your molten vents will automatically have become a resource vent. Well, that's all that I have for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps more than you think. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one. Peace out, guys.